to be here. Uh, my name is Esteban Tomanes. I'm 25 years old. I'm from Andorra, and I'm very horny. Um, not related to Jack, thank you. Um, yeah, it's good to be horny though. Like, I think it's good to be horny nowadays. Someone's loving my joke already. Um, it's good to be horny nowadays because there's the thing now that all my friends, every time there's a new app, they want to recommend it to me. And I got recently recommended this app called Field. <laughs> Mm, yeah. Do you have anyone from here apart from you familiar with Phil? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, okay, well, found the peaks. Okay, yeah, Phil is dating app for people that just want to have sex, but I like to describe it as the final boss from dating apps, because I think that if you're theirs, because you finished all the other ones, you know? Yeah. You're gonna finish Hinge, Tinder, Bumble, Spare Room, all of that. <laughs> the The weird body, the weird body, square. But I like being horny, it's, it's, it's fine, I guess. Um, I had a thought about being horny last week, because I had to go to Horny's People Church. I don't know if any of you have been there, but I was born and raised Catholic, so I used to go to church when I was young. And it wasn't until last Sunday that I felt that same sense of communion when I got into the waiting room of a sexual health clinic. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you've been there, but everyone there looks at you like, welcome brother, we know what you're here for. <laughs> It's a weird vibe, but I enjoyed it. Also, if you're there on Sunday morning, it's probably because you want to get rid of your sins. And it always ends with an old man rubbing your ball. So yeah, it felt a lot like church to me. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm horny, uh, going on dates. Well, I used to go on a lot of dates, and that's the thing about dates. Like sometimes you get catfish. Have you ever got catfish, any of you? Mm, yeah, catfishing sucks. Catfishing sucks, that's my thing with catfishing. I think it shows how different men and women are. Because that's my thing. I asked my best friend, who's a girl, how it was for her being catfish, and she was like, dude, that's the worst thing that can happen to a girl. If he's already lying to you, what's he capable of? <laughs> I was like, that never happened in a guy's head. It's a but that's the thing, I think it shows a difference. Because for a guy being catfish, it's a lot like getting served the wrong food at a restaurant. You know? Because we'll be like, excuse me, that's not what I ordered. And then they'll come and they're like, oh, we're so sorry, we're going to throw the one away and bring you on your order. I'm like, no, 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 I'll take that one. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring more wine. <laughs> My big fucker. <laughs> um, okay, cool. Uh, I don't know what I was going to do next. Okay, um, what do you want? A joke about a woman I once put my head in her vagina or about therapy? First one. So my mom, uh, my mom, I'll make a therapy one later, but my mom, uh, she's great, my mom's great, she's, she's a cool mom, but she's a really old school mom, she's one of these old school moms that later on to talk about feelings, and my dad died when I was 10 years old, and listen, that's like a great time to talk about feelings, but I don't judge her, because she tried, I remember, she sat me down, because I'm an only child, she had a whole lot of trauma, and she was like, okay, buddy, this is so, your dad's no longer with us, so now it's just you and I, so we better fucking behave, all right? <laughs> I don't know if it was the right thing to do, but it was fucking effective, because my tears went up, and I was like, yes, sir, I'm gonna serve you my whole life. All right, that joke didn't land. <laughs> it looks like you're not coming home with me, buddy. Okay, um, so therapy, I'm going to therapy too. I've been going to therapy for the past two years. I started going to therapy because I'm very hypochondriac. I'm a very hypochondriac person. If you've never been to therapy, first therapy session is like a very awkward first date where you're talking the whole time and the other person's nodding. And at some point I mentioned, oh, by the way, my dad died when I was 10 years old. And she goes, I'm so sorry to hear that. But I'm, sh I'm sure you've been to therapy already to handle that. And I told her I'd actually never been to therapy. And she had to hide her excitement. She was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> um, oh my god, like, that's the thing. She is the one benefiting from my dad's will. It's very weird. And also I knew it was a good client, because by the end of that first session, she said goodbye to me like a sports agent who just signed a prodigy kid. She looked at me and she was like, hey, we're gonna do great things together. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much guys, I'm gonna stay with you.